Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Marvel Legends San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Thor Peck Ulick, or Ulick. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name. Either way, that's this guy. It's kind of like an orange version of Rhino and Abomination. It's a build-a-figure size, build-a-figure body figure built into the five pack, which is kind of cool. You don't have to assemble it, it just comes that way. And I know a lot of people really wanted a figure of this guy, and it does some things pretty nicely, some things not so much. So let's go ahead and get him off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about 20 and a half centimeters, which makes him just about eight inches. And he does have kind of weird proportioning. He's got a very short upper body, longer legs. Looks a little strange, maybe it's accurate to the character. I don't know, I'm very not familiar with this guy. I mean, I knew he existed, but uh, that's about it. But they, like I said, they did some things really well. The metallic green on the scale mill, that's fantastic. I really like that. Up against the slightly different green with the silver, very nicely painted. I love it. Looks very, very good. The head sculpt and paint also very nicely done. It's very, very clean. It does look a little, maybe kind of cartoonish. I don't know. I wasn't expecting the face to be quite so smooth and looks like he moisturizes or something. But that's okay. And the hair is sculpted really nicely. And there's some separate pieces on there so you don't have to worry about paint issues. So very, very pleased with that. We do have this weird combination of fur and rhino parts going on. So there's some fur connected to his shoulder pads, some fur on his hands, and then just shaded rhino parts. I don't know, is that how it's supposed to look? It looks really weird to me, especially down here at the feet. Especially since they didn't shade the hinges. You go from shaded rhino parts to orange hinge to fur to weird toes. It's just, it's, it's relatively strange looking. I know it's mostly accurate at least. Maybe it's more than that, but... Something very weird about it. I don't think it's going to be a big issue for most people, especially if you're familiar with the character. You guys can let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. I'm kind of curious. Alright, so let's talk about the articulation. The head is on a ball peg with a hinge, which is not new. We've seen this before. In fact, I believe, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure the other guys had separate pieces on here too, so this is probably the exact same neck that we saw before, literally. Um, at least the same mold. So, the head moves back pretty well, not too bad, it can look up a little bit, it can look forward a little bit, not a whole lot, but that's to be expected with hair like that. It can rotate around, no problem at all, so I think the head's pretty good. It does lean a little bit, but not too much. For the shoulders, apparently they don't go very far up. Okay, so the new body, <laughs> the new body does not allow the shoulders to work. All right, that's as far up as they go. That's garbage, that sucks. And what's with that? Why do we have peg holes like that? That's weird, isn't that weird? That's pretty weird. You do get full rotation and you get your bicep swivel. Those shoulders suck, I'm upset about that. I thought I broke it and instead it just, it's really bad. <laughs> Single jointed elbow works okay, 90 degrees. Wrist swivel and hinge works all right. You can't really lean too far out to the side but you can bring it inside so that's okay. These are a separate piece so there's no paint issue there. The torso does go back a little bit, but it really creates like a giant open mouth type of look in there, so that's kind of weird. Very, very big gap. That's not good. Going forward, it does go forward a little bit, does create a really big gap. I feel like they didn't put that much effort into designing this guy. It seems very, very cheap. Waist swivel's fine. Hips work just like they used to, which is okay. Not too bad. They are pretty floppy though, especially this one. It's a little floppy. Not terribly so, but it's not great. Thigh swivel works okay. Single jointed knee. <clears throat> very stiff, but it works okay. It's still very boxy and ugly looking, but you do get about 90 degrees. And then for the ankle, you get really good range, which is not a problem at all. And you get your ankle rocker, and it's mostly squared up, so I like that. It's pretty good. So this guy, is it's a kind of a weird figure. It's It's got some really good things about it and then some really not good things about it. And I busted my knuckle trying to move that arm, which can't move, so that's kind of a bummer. So, I don't know. It's okay. If you really wanted to figure this character, go ahead and pick it up. I don't think you'll be too disappointed. But if you didn't, then it's probably an easy pass. I don't know. It's just weird. So you guys can let me know what you think in the comments section below, which is always encouraged anyway. So there it is, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, keep collecting.